Hello, welcome to Christ Center Gamer's latest unboxing of the, cre sound, the Creative Sound Blaster GS3 Soundbar. So I'm actually really looking, forward, really looking forward to this one because it is really affordable. It's $49 uh, for all of its features. And so if it sounds halfway decent, it could be a great budget setup for a lot of people. It's looks to be small based on the box, so it shouldn't take up a lot of space. It could fit right under your monitor, be a great upgrade for monitor sound. And, uh, you know, a good option for those who are just looking for something basic just so they can share sound with the people around them without having to buy into an expensive sound system. So I'm pretty excited for this and uh, trying to be multitask a little bit here, which is always of a mixed value. but. Okay, so here's a good look at the front of the back. Okay, and here's the one end with the logo, more logo, nothing on top. Uh, and the bottom has just a bunch of stuff. And then the back has another closer look. So go ahead and there we go. All right. So there's not too much here to see. Uh, there's a quick start guided cable and the soundbar itself included, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and see what's in this box. All right, so it looks like we got some packing material on the end. Take this off, there's a little cap shaped like the side of the soundbar. Go ahead and pull this out. And it looks like there's some stuff inside, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump those out. And that's it, pretty straightforward. Box-wise, I'll go ahead and put this down. We have the quick start guide, what looks to be a USB cable. Okay. Uh, looks like it's Type-C to Type-C. Huh. Okay. So it's all in on the Type-C format. I thought it might have been A to C, but nope. And is that? Yeah, that's it. So it's just a Type-C to Type-C. That's the cable. It's a standard rubber cable. It's not fabric or anything like that. Looks like it has an anti-magnetic uh, um, signal protector on there. Looks like a pretty standard quick start guide. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. I don't know if we'll need it or not, because who needs instruction books? I'm a man. That's a joke. I'll probably look at it out off camera. And uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, unboxed here, or un unbagged. Okay. So... I always spend some time researching products before unboxing them, so hopefully I can give you a good a good view. So here's what the front of it looks like. Looks pretty sharp. Really not bad looking. I think there's an RGB strip in the bottom here. Here's the rubber feet. Okay, and you can take a good look at the uh, thing there. All right, now we've got this side's a whole lot of nothing. The rear has what is presumed to be a port for the speakers. And this is the connectivity. If you have an aux cable, 3.5 millimeter aux cable, and a USB-C port. And on the side, this is actually pretty important here. We, we have two, two and two things. The knob with all the functions, which I'll go over in a second, and a 3.5 millimeter for headphones. So that's pretty great. So on this side, we have power and mute, a super wide button, a lighting button, and a Bluetooth or source button. So that's pretty cool. So this has three inputs, um, Bluetooth, 3.5 millimeter, and USB. Pretty great. Um, I just realized I need 3.5, and I did have a case. So we are in luck. However, I think it might need USB for power. So let's just go ahead and plug this thing in to our computer. Hope it doesn't disrupt what I'm doing. that would be unfortunate if it messed us up. Let's see. I didn't think to grab another computer this time. Okay, so now we have a red light right there. We go ahead and turn it on. So now it's in pairing mode, waiting for connection, according to the Bluetooth lady's voice. You can see we got the RGB stripe on the bottom. I guess I'll... Uh, so I have my phone right here. I'll uh, tell it to pair, and we will see how this works. If it pairs quickly, then we'll be 
Continue on with that. There it is. Doesn't always go this well, but this went super smoothly. There it is. All right, so let's uh, see what it sounds like. Just a quick 30 second thing. I mean, I don't expect the universe, but. Okay, that was very loud and then shut off. Why? I wonder why that happened. Um, <laughs> that did not last. Why did it not last? Let's try that again. Did I hit, hit the power button on accident? Not in power mode. Waiting for connection. Huh. Bluetooth connected. Okay, now it's connected. This is connected to media audio only, which is which is good. Let me try that again. <laughs> It gets pretty loud. I'm impressed. For something so small and inexpensive, it gets quite loud. Wow. Okay. Hopefully I don't get copyright struck for this, but... Um... Okay. I don't want to get copyright struck, but what I will say is not bad for 50 bucks for something this small. Very good first impressions. Uh, it's still going back and forth with all the RGB you could ever want. So I have to play with that. I think I can actually shut that off with a with the button, right? Oh, it changes it. So now it's a different pattern and then a different pattern or just light, light in the center, which I actually don't really mind that look. Uh, let's see what else we got. We'll turn it around and let you guys see what it looks like on a table. All right, let's see. Where's the light now? The button is over here. Um, more glowing. And more glowing. And a single color. No, it's still rotating. And is that off? It looks like it's off. Okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, first impressions are actually pretty good. And uh, time will tell if that holds up over time. Thank you. Take care and God bless.